All right, I'm gonna walk you through order bumps and upsells when you're adding them to your Kajabi offers. Now, the first place that I always start is with what I call North Pole to New York City. This is your entire sales funnel, easy to remember. So North Pole, cold traffic, New York City, people spend a lot of money. So our goal is always moving people from cold traffic at the North Pole. These are your read magnets. And the reason this is so important when you're laying out anything in Kajabi, you have to know where you are taking people because otherwise you'll start building and it will end up as a hot mess. So New York City, this is when people are buying from you. Now, to, before you can get from cold traffic to buying in New York City, you also have your lead magnet. So this is where they are opting in. And typically, you will have an intro product. This is simply the first time someone buys from you, and this is the second time. So, especially in the case of order bumps and upsells, those are going to alter what you may say is, oh, they buy this and they buy that, when you inter intersect or inject another thing for people to purchase, that becomes the second time they buy, for instance. So let's say that on your first offer, and this is again, you've got to have this before you can map out anything. Let's say the first time that they're going to buy, they're going to buy a $59 course from you. And you want to offer an upsell or an order bump. So if you want to add an order bump, that upgrades the offer. And if you're adding also an upsell, that is come that is counts as the third thing that they are buying over here, the third time. So when you're setting this up in Kajabi, and we'll go into Kajabi, but I always use the whiteboard so that we know where we're going before we dive in. So here on the offer page, so this is offer checkout. Right, and here is where they're giving you their money, they're buying, clicking, yes, submit. The order bump is going to happen before the checkout is complete. The upsell is going to happen immediately after the first offer, and if they choose the order bump is complete, then they can go and go to the upsell. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to walk it through and then I'm gonna show you my preferred method of doing this. So let's go into Kajabi. All right, so when we're in Kajabi, we're gonna click on products and then we're going to click on offers right here and we're going to make a new offer. So we're gonna click on add new offer. You may already have your offer done. So right here, we're just gonna call this um, testing order bump and upsell. We're gonna use this default product. So your product would be in there. We said it would be a $59 purchase. So we can put that right there. Click save. You can always adjust any of this information once you get to this screen right here. So when we're on this screen, first of all, it's really, really important to make sure that you have your purchase terms on your checkout page. If you don't know, I am an attorney by trade, so this is a really good um, time that I can just let you know. You wanna make sure that you are putting in here um, and there, I've done lots of videos on this. When you agree to, or when you purchase, you agree to these terms. And then you're simply going to hyperlink to wherever you have put those terms. So I keep mine on Google Drive. It's a non-editable document. They can go grab the terms, grab the link, put them in here, and then click save. That means 
that you're covering yourself before people start making purchases. This is really, really important. So it'll also keep your checkout nice and clean. So that part, always do that part first. Now, on the edit editing page, which is where we are, we can click order bump. So again, the order bump is happening before the sale is complete on this offer. So I can choose the offer right here and we can put in um, put in additional descriptive text. I will say that the way that these are most successful, meaning the highest percentage of conversions in terms of people choosing you, to take you up on your order bump, think like the Amazon add-on. I have $50 in my cart and there's a, ooh, add this on for $2.99. You bought all these coloring books, these beautiful coloring books, add on markers for $5. That is a really good example and mindset when you're approaching your own decision on should I offer an order bump. An order bump of I'm selling you a $59 course, here is a $200 one-on-one. -on -one. You've got to know your audience really, really well. If you know, yep, they're totally going to take me up on that, use the order bump. But majority of the time, that's not going to have a successful, meaning a high percentage of conversion rates as you are going through your screens. So you put in your information, you click save, now you have your order bump. You'll see it's right here on the order page. So, <clears throat> excuse me, it does work to me, it's the same as the Amazon. Oh, you bought the coloring books for 30. Would you like the markers for six? Yeah, I would actually. Thank you. That'd make my life really easy. Or you bought the bath, you know, the shower gel for 20. Would you like the loofah sponge for $1.99? Yes, I would. Great for me. That's how I keep order bumps in my brain. And don't forget it. So now you have your order bump on your page. Now, for your upsell, we need to go back out to the main testing or the main um, order page worksheet, front page, whichever way you wanna look at it, and the upsell right here, it says add an upsell after the offer has been purchased. So we can choose to add the upsell, and here, We'll just pick one. It's a test site, so let's pick, we'll turn it on. Let's actually choose something that has money attached to it. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's just gonna let me edit it. So we'll just do that right now, okay? Yours would obviously have money attached to it. So you turn on the upsell, you give it a title. Um, oh, I don't know. Add it in. Now you can select your video. So you can put in a sales video here. We'll just choose something. I bet I have a new, we'll have something that's relatively short. Let's see. That works. You know, upload your video. So if you're doing the upsell, you really want to make sure that what you're putting into that video works and it is going to help you sell what the upsell portion is. So that is where um, we'll kind of segue into my preferred method, which I, if you haven't read this book, it's by Joey Coleman. It is never lose another customer or never lose a customer again. It is such a good book and especially with order bumps and upsells, he really touches on the fact that we don't know what has gone into our customers making a purchase. We need to honor the fact that they took action and purchased the original offer versus dishonoring it in a way in terms of, oh, you're going to buy this? Well, what about this? And what about this? My preferred way, which I'll show you in a minute, has one to do with aesthetics, 
Two, it does have proven higher conversion rates, and that is not to use this upsell feature that happens, boom, as soon as they bought, hey, do you want more? To me, that feels like a 4 a.m. infomercial. Does it work? Yes, infomercials make billions of dollars. But I think we all have things we've purchased at 4 a.m. that we then regret. That's not the feeling that I personally want to leave my customers with. It's not the feeling I would want to have you leaving your customers with. So now I can click save. That upload gave me just the right amount of time to talk to you on that. So here, now we can go and look at the look at what the upsell page looks like. When you're using this, you'll see there's not a lot of design. Like it's not a pretty page like a standalone page is. It's not a, you'll see the video is processing right now. I, I just have a little bit of things. Like there's not, there's nothing there. I mean, it really is not to me like a, what is Kajabi is incredibly capable of doing. And that is put it on a standalone page. Let them complete their purchase. Let onboard them with what that purchase is. Honor the fact that they took the time to make that purchase. And in part of your onboarding your new customer into your world, your existing customers, whatever it might be, then you can provide them a standalone page that is beautiful that looks like a sales page because if I'm upselling to me I bought the $30 worth of coloring books I did an order bump for six for the markers that makes total sense now on the bonus would you like art lessons whoa okay it I don't know but let me spend some time with the coloring book and the markers that you sent me okay, yeah, you know what? I really would like some art lessons. I, and again, trying to use just a broad example, but that is functionally how you put it together. And then the um, when you're on your order page, again, we can preview this and the order bump is going to show right on the front here, yes, now, when they complete their purchase, then they would see this. So this is the upsell page. If you have any questions, feel free, ask them. I'm happy to answer them um, and, you know, have fun. The, okay, I'm going to make a shameless plug for this book. This book is incredible when it comes to mapping out where is it that we want people to go so that they are solid, strong, loyal customers versus that continual, got to get a new customer, got to get a new customer, got to get a new customer. Um, so it's just a different way of looking at it. And you can bend Kajabi to do absolutely anything that you want. Have a great day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.